Hello everyone, welcome to my study table. Today we'll discuss about the art of influencing from the point of view of organization behavior. The ability to influence others at work has become an increasingly important managerial skill to achieve work goals and objectives. Influence is the ability to change others' attitudes, opinions, or behavior. We get influenced by members of our family, by friends and colleagues, as well as by social influencers. Influence can be direct or indirect. Direct influence is when the person attempting to change the attitude of another speaks directly to the other person. This type of influence would be used within sales or customer service roles. Indirect influence, on the other hand, is where the message attempts to reach its target via a third party. For example, organizations may pass messages to public relations firms or analysts in the hope that these parties will in turn influence potential customers. Influencing techniques are used frequently by salespeople to encourage us to purchase goods and services. There will also be many situations within the organizational relationships where it will be important to influence other people. For example, attempting to gain support for a new product or process. When attempting to influence others, it is important to consider the objective and the reason why influencing the other party is necessary, as forceful influence may be seen as manipulation. Chaldini, a psychologist, professor and writer, came up with six principles of influence. These can be used whenever there is a need to influence others, beginning with reciprocity. Human nature can lead us to feel obliged to return favors. Therefore, we may be influenced to support someone who has supported us in some way in the past. Commitment. As humans, we desire consistency and don't like to be seen to be changing our minds. Therefore, we may be influenced to follow through with our support for something if we had shown some initial interest in it. Social proof. This principle relies on the fact that humans tend to be influenced by peer pressure. If we see others acting in a certain way, it is likely to influence us to act in the same way. Liking. The principle is based on the fact that as humans, we are more likely to be influenced by people we like, people who are nice and friendly towards us, or people who are similar to us. Authority. Another principle of influence is based on the premise that we are more likely to be influenced by people in positions of authority. This comes from a sense of trust and respect for the position held. Scarcity. This principle suggests that we are more likely to want something if its availability is limited. We are more likely to support something if we fear losing out if we don't. It is worth recognizing these principles so that you can be aware when others are trying to use them to influence you. In this context, let's understand what persuasion is. Persuasion is a stronger form of influence. While influence can be direct or indirect, intentional or unintentional, persuasion is always direct and intentional. The aim of influence could be to inspire someone to buy in to an idea or make a particular decision, while the aim of persuasion is to change a person or a group's attitude or behavior towards something or someone. The person using persuasion has a clear objective and is set on achieving it by getting others to support them. The six principles of influence can be used in persuasion, but they may be used in a stronger form. I really hope you liked this video. Thanks for watching. The next video will be on the art of negotiation. Do consider subscribing to the channel for more content.